Hello guys, this is Murtaza uh, from Insta Accountant. Today in this video, we're going to be talking about skip the dishes. People who are skip the dishes drivers, they deliver food um, in, uh, using skip the dishes app, right? So we're going to be talking about taxes, how the taxes work for you guys, right? First thing is you are self-employed. If you're doing a part-time or a full-time job um, and you're doing uh, skip the dishes, you're still a self-employed. And for the, so basically what, what happens is that for, uh, if, if you um, have a job, you're going to get a T4 at the year end. Uh, but if you're doing a, a skip the dishes, you are self-employed, you won't get any T4, number one. Number second, uh, the difference is, secondly, the, um, you know, uh, normally in a job, uh, uh, you know, your income tax, a little bit of it gets deducted at the source. Uh, your employer does that. But if you're doing skip the dishes, that doesn't happen. So you are responsible for your own taxes. That means no deductions at source. You're not paying any tax in advance. You're going to be uh, paying the tax uh at the year end when you do your tax return i have a detailed video on the you know how taxes work for self-employed and the difference between employment and self-employment you can uh watch that video um and uh also um one of the things uh that you need to uh take care of is that uh, or you need to know is that sometimes people get confused that, okay, if I'm doing a skip the dishes or if I'm self-employed and, and I'm also doing a job, uh, I will have to file two tax returns. That's incorrect. So you still have to file the same tax return. It's just that um, it will have two income streams. One is coming from the employment and the second one is coming from your self-employment income. In case of self-employment, um, there is a schedule that we have to add. It's called, um, uh, you know, um, T two one two five form, uh, which is statement of your uh, for, of your business and professional activities, in which you provide details on your uh, self employment uh, self employed incomes and the uh, related expenses, and then attach that with your uh, tax return. So it's the same tax return. It's just that. Uh, for self-employed, it's a bit more detailed and a bit complicated. So that's, um, again, I have, uh, I've already made a very uh, detailed video about uh, uh, the T2125 T2, uh, form, um, how to fill it and all that and how it works for self-employed. You can watch that video. Now coming to skip the dishes. So if you're doing skip the dishes, the first thing is, um, as a self-employed, so you need to understand two things. One is the income side, and the second thing, second is the expenses side, right? And then income less expenses is going to give you the net income, which is taxable income. So you're going to be paying tax on that, right? So if your income was hundred dollars and your expenses was forty dollars, the sixty dollars hundred minus forty, the sixty dollars is taxable so you're going to be paying tax on that now let's talk about the income side so for skip the dishes unlike uber eats uh, they don't provide you a, a, a detailed tax summary rather they would just send you an email in which you uh, they will kind of uh, give you give you uh, the amount of uh, income uh, that you collected doing uh, the food deliveries during the year and also by mention some uh, the, the tips amount and any other charges or fees so um, you can do that by going into your app and adding up all the uh, the the income uh, the the money that you receive doing the uh, you know doing uh, for each delivery you can if you add uh, those up that will be the same amount as uh, the email states, which is the sum of all the, those amounts, right? One of the other things is that uh, tips, 
uh, the tips that you collected um, your, uh, you know, during the year, doing these deliveries. Those tips are taxable. Uh, you have to pay tax on that. So do include those tips uh, um, as as your income. So your total income is is the is the amount that you receive for delivering the uh, food plus the tips that you got uh, during uh, the year uh, for those deliveries, right? So it's it's the sum of that, and it, it, both of these are taxable. So that's the income side, pretty much simple. Uh, the expenses side is something that I, I'm going to be talking more in detail because this the expenses are very important uh, in terms of saving taxes because uh, you need to make sure that you report all the expenses, the relevant expenses for uh, that you incurred to earn uh, this income. So for example, yeah, you earn $100 uh, for, uh, for doing all the deliveries during the year, and you incur $70 of, of different expenses. You need to make sure that you put that $70 into your tax return because that will make your taxable income $30, okay? Um, so what kind of expenses you can claim is, um, so first expenses, is going to be um, related to your car. So all the gas expense, the, um, uh, the car insurance, car maintenance and repairs, any supplies related to the car um, are, uh, uh, are definitely deductible, right? One more thing, since you're using a car, you have to keep a, a mileage log, right? What that means is that you need to kind of keep record of how many miles you are driving for skip the dishes, for doing skip the dishes, and how many miles you're driving for your personal use. Since you're, uh, you, you're using your personal car for this purpose, for this uh, activity, uh, you have to keep a record uh, because at the end of the year, you will be able to um, kind of know What's the percentage of my, uh, so for example, if I drove 100 miles during the year and uh, I find out that 77 miles during that year were for uh, doing skip the dishes and the rest of the 23 miles were for my personal use. So that means that I, for, for that car, all of my expenses have to be apportioned accordingly, like 77% uh, percent of my all the gas expense during the year has to be related to has to be um, uh, for for the uh, for the self employment activity and the twenty three percent of that gas expense is personal. I cannot claim that. I can only claim the business expense, the business portion of that uh, gas expense. Okay. So coming back, so you can deduct gas expense, you can deduct your insurance, car maintenance, all those kind of expenses related to your car. The other thing is, um, you had any expenses, signing up fees, um, a bigger expense would be your cell phone. Uh, so uh, all uh, expenses related to your cell phone, you purchase a cell phone, you uh, got the cell phone repair, um, uh, the plan that you're paying for, the data that you're paying for, or uh, any charger, any, you know, cell phone holder or anything like that. All those expenses, yes, uh, phone related expenses are uh, claimable. You have to claim those. The next is, um, uh, you know, any supplies, for example, the red bag, uh, the, the skip the dishes bag, the thermal bag that you carry with the food, make sure it, it re reaches your uh, destination one. Uh, so those bags, uh, uh, if you purchase that one, that's deductible. If you had any, uh, if you had to buy any other um, kind of uh, supplies like face mask, this, that, you know, all those things. Yes, those are 
uh, business uh, expenses and those are deductible. You can deduct those expenses. Um, so uh, one of the things that you have to make sure, guys, very important, is that you have to keep receipts and invoices for these expenses safe somewhere, right? Because CRA requires you to keep those receipts or proof of your expense transactions for six years. Uh, we have a development app for self-employed people and for people who are always on the go, like yourself. It's called uh, Zoombooks. So Zoombooks, um, what does Zoombooks do is, uh, so for example, you just, you know, bought gas for um, $25, you have the receipt, you, you'll just take a picture from Zoombooks uh, app and uh, that's it. That's it. So Zoombooks will save the receipt forever, like digitally, and also categorize the expense and do the related bookkeeping by itself, right? So you don't have to do that. Uh, you can always, you will have that receipt saved with you. And also you will be getting, you know, okay, how much did I spend this week on gas and this and that. So all the analytics and reports will be there as well, which helps a lot because a lot of people uh, that we do tax returns for, they don't know if they, how much profit they made out of, let's say their self-employed activity, right? So you're doing skip the dishes, you're just doing it. You don't know how much is my expenses every, every month or every week or every day. And you know the income, right? Because it's coming from uh, the app, right? But what about the expenses? Uh, so you need to know what's your profitability, right? Uh, that thing. The last thing is uh, a lot of people ask us about HST for skip the dishes drivers. So yes, um, HST is actually not applicable to you on you unless your income uh, goes beyond 30,000. So if it goes beyond $30,000 threshold, then you have to get registered with HST and start charging HST on your um uh, on on your deliveries, right? Uh, again, HST for self-employed and delivery drivers. I have another a separate video, a detailed video on that. You can watch that video uh, for help. And uh, if you have any questions, your feedback, um, do let us know in, in the comment section and um, uh, like our video, subscribe to the channel and drive safe. Have a good day. Bye.